Alrighty, good. Good evening, anybody that may be a lurking. Hope you've had a fantastic weekend. I'm back with some more Red Dead RP to wrap up my Sunday night as Lord Leidhart Valdemar. I'm going to be taking part in the... The Solomon's Capture the Flag event that's happening tonight. It's raising funds for a friend of the admin, Prem. Uh, his friend's gone through a rough time over in the UK because he's from New Zealand. And health health coverage in that internationally, nice morning, huh, mister? as you'd imagine, can be quite confusing. And a bit all over the place. So it's raising funds for that. So if anyone has the means for that, we'll be raising awareness of that tonight. But it's also just um, promoing it pulling it as I usually do and I'll be showing my point of view of the event which should be good now I've just learned that I need to get, haul my ass down to Armadillo so we're gonna head there right away I've got eight minutes ideally in a perfect world to get there so I better I better get a real on <laughs> um, so I've got some money left over and grab food and drink when I'm there uh, maybe just some drink I've got food um, what do I need to have on me? I think that's really it at the moment. Hello, Tom Loy. How are you, dude? Again, I am very sorry that I domed you as Hughes the other night. In the moment, it kind of made sense to me. Because, like, he was learning a lot of information that people were, you know, aware that he's actually George Hughes. But they've been going along that he's this Enrique guy. So in the heat of the moment, it kind of felt like that. But then I was also like, man, I hope they didn't come across as too... It's too much being a dick. But it kind of made sense to me. But I, I was thinking I could have just tied you up or knocked you out. So yeah, I hope it didn't come across as me being too brash, man. You can suck to Yeah, and you're like, no, 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 it's your horse. I'm like, no. I heard you refer to the person as George. I I didn't miss that. It says, bang. Um... But yeah, it, it didn't. Yeah, I was really nervous because then later on, Squiz is like at the plantation, like, oh. Um, Willie said that, you know, Enrique shot him and that. And it was all like, oh, ooh, uh, uh. So it was funny. But yeah, no, nah, thanks, man. Um, thanks for understanding. I'm glad it's all right. Are you taking part in the event tonight? God, I hope I get there in time. I wanted to get on earlier, but I was in a meeting and I just wanted to make sure. My thoughts were, came across just so everyone can keep moving forward with the pre-show planning stuff. <laughs> he shot me! Yeah, then it was all like... They were like accusing... um who Hammer was pretending to be in that. It was all over the place, man. But then, like, I think uh, my my assumption is that Richard Dome killed one of the lions, like the little lion that killed his dog weeks ago, which then set, like, a whole... Like, it really... It really poked the beehive. Like, everyone was running all over the place, like, what's this, what's that? And then um, Smiley Joe made a runner. He ju ju jumped over the fence and he made a run into the jungle. So some people chased after him. And then some of the other lawmen started running the other way. And just it, everything went everywhere. So was, like, that's how we all made our escape. It was, um, it was wild. It was, it was cool. It was funny. Gotta keep moving let my horse hey the horse leveled up a bit more fuck yeah oh nearly a full nearly a full uh nearly a full circle full circle of stamina can you believe it incredible i might put in the discord that i'm on my way
Out of the way. Bozo. <laughs> oh, dude, I... Yeah, I don't know where Hughes's arc is going to go, eh? So at the moment, he's... Um, you know, he's been given some evidence by the lawmen to sort of indicate that he is actually George Hughes, which he's acknowledged, and he wants to remember, and he's trying to remember, but it's still... I think he's going to have to spend some time with the doctors, as you would in real life when dealing with something... something serious like that. Um... Yeah, he's currently holed up in someone's house, sort of, you know, out of the way to sort of keep a, you know, keep a low profile. Uh, so I'll probably resume, if, if not beforehand, um, at the latest it'll be Wednesday night, I'll do more with Hughes, and we'll see what happens next. Willie's going to counter-rescue and take Beano's cell in the mansion? Well, I, I was... I was made aware that a lot of people were sent by the commander to hunt hunt him down that night. And I imagine that will be continuing, which is kind of scary, but also very cool and exciting at the same time. So I imagine it's going to be a bit hairy. But I imagine there will be people trying to take him back to Guam, as they, as there is in their right. It makes sense. And that will definitely... Uh, that will definitely um, create for, uh, create some uh, interesting moments. I'm gonna, just going to go into the Discord voice chat for a sec. Not if you catch a boat oh. <laughs> to Blackwater and then ride. Hey, D, I'm really Maybe. sorry I'm oh, running late. That's true. That's, That's all right. I can do. I'm, I'm, I'll, we can wait. I'm on we my way. I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we can wait for everybody. I don't, I don't know why. I don't think I've actually ever caught a boat from... <laughs> where, would I, where do I go to catch a boat? I never... I think these people are probably going to the event as well. catch up to him and then I kill him <laughs> taking out some of the competition no nah, I won't do that that'd be that'd be mean hello actor how you going howdy partner see the roads are getting tough. First as fuck, boy! I've been alright, actor. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a good weekend. I um, I did some esports casting yesterday, which was good. So you know, I did some productive things. I've done a lot of cleaning. Um, uh, we were in a meeting before for an upcoming event next month. Um, I chilled out. I played. Played some games with my dad. Played some games with mates. Uh, yeah, caught up on some Hell Divers, some Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, some more Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection. Even though it's 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 great to play it again and like have a chance to do some multiplayer online with people, but it's very scuffed at the same time, which is very disappointing. But trying to make the most of a bad situation.
cause a long day. But how are you? How are you, actor? It's good. It's good to... It's been good to fill up my days. Sometimes on the weekends, I'm... You know, you have all these options for things to do, but you just can't settle on something. So it's good to ground it. Anchor it in a way. I've got it. I'm heading to Armadillo for this event that's on tonight. This, like, capture the flag event. I think I have to turn this way. Yep. Um, I, I didn't realize it was going to be over in Armadillo. Going as fast as I can. I better be careful because there's sometimes wolves in these parts. Wait, oh, so you changed... You, you were pretty much like a stylist for another character? But then you want to, like, gag in front of them, like... To, oh. Oof. And training horses. Not a nice, honest profession. a theme with your characters. It's either they have a kid or they are going to have a kid. God, I hate being late to things. In real life, I will always aim to be early to things. So I think it's, because I, I personally think it's very important to value other people's time. And if you make an agreement to meet at a certain time, then you should do everything within your power to honor that. I feel like it's a pretty basic, it's a pretty basic common courtesy. Like, I don't like letting other people down in that regard. I hope they understand. Ty Woods, welcome to the chat. Howdy, partner. Also, Dark Stormy 37. Howdy, partner. Thanks for the follow. All right. Good evening. Today. Uh-oh. I think we're listening in the Discord. Oops, sorry. Oh, no. Oops. Audi 6. Audi 6. Good one. <laughs> Thank you. That's alright. Anyone else? Um, I'm 153. I'll get off my horse. Give me a second. 103. Um, 103, please, when you have a chance. 
Yeah, of course. Bring. And. Alright, horses fled. I'm good. Thank you. Um, five. Oh, thank uh, sorry, you. All five. Please. Is it daytime for you guys? Yeah. Um, yep. yes. Mm. Oh, what the hell? Raining. It is nighttime and raining. Yeah, yeah, same. Nighttime. nighttime. That is weird. Oh, it, it just went to nighttime. That is yep. weird. <laughs> um, ID 7, please. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I just noticed some of you are like. I noticed some of you are like day, some of you are night. <laughs> Why is that? That's. <clears throat> but anyway. Uh, am I missing anyone? Uh, I think it feels like there's people myself. missing. 145. Yeah. 145. Please. I'm, I'm 147. Oh, okay. I just disappeared. 147. Yep, I got um, I'm 142. Are you already here? Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys are already here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> armadillo. Who's not yeah. in Armadillo? Oh, this is the teleport, <laughs> right. Yeah. I was it would disappear and then reappear. Um, I'm 79. Yeah. And I'm 134. <laughs> I'm gonna mute that up. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can anybody hear me? Father? Oh, hello there. Oh, you can hear me. Excellent. Yes, I can hear you. How you doing, Mr. Voldemort? Heavenly. Heavenly. That's my job. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been? I've been well. I've been well. Uh, I actually had an interest in running the other day with uh, a witch who uh, managed to get me eyebrows. A witch? Where did you yeah. see this witch? I saw her in Valentine. Of God, that does not surprise me. No, it does not. There's something I think in the water. She's a witch. She could have just been a strange lady giving out some weird bags full of rabbit feet. It would not be the first time that an innocent strange lady has been falsely accused of being a witch. No, exactly. But she told yeah. me to have a nap in the church, and I did a little prayer to God, and I woke up and I had eyebrows. Well, I'm just glad you have your eyebrows back. They really can make the, yeah. all the difference. I really do. I feel like I've got a, quite the handsome face now. Oh, I need food. <laughs> no, I need drinks. No, I'm good for food. I need drinks. Um... I was having some of these while I was mining today, and they seemed all right. Maybe I'll grab another one of them. Uh, Food-wise, eight, eight big game, two beans on toast. Um, maybe one more of those. So I got then the ten drinks. That should be that should be plenty, and then that'll tide me over for the next few sessions too. Did you, did you get your badge? Oh, oh is there you, badges in the box? Get your badge from the crate. Oh, you did? Okay. It's not working. It's on my chest, but my quilt's kind of hard. Ah, good. Yeah. Ah. Should be pretty fun. One at a time, shit! Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. We live in this society. Up to you, okay, madam. You'll have to explain to me what we're doing. Okie dokie. Uh, sir, do you have a partner at all to assist you in this, this hunt? I do not. Oh, well, uh, it appears I don't either. Would you like to put your heads together and see if we can't work this out? Would be happy to help. What was your name? Um, I'm Harriet. Well, Harriet. Yes, I believe we met that uh, in St. Denis. You were uh, doing a blood drive? Oh, yes. Yes, the hey, blood drive. Oh, yes, Miss Harriet. Hello. Yes, happy to help. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that's all, all done with. Um, but if you, you want to 
work on something different, um, I'd be open to it. No, happy to uh, get involved with the community for these positive events. Yes, it seems a lot more helpful than draining people of blood for whatever medicinal purposes you had in mind. Of course, you know, all those, all those poor orphans that uh, were shot, they uh, now can have the chance to continue living. Oh. I didn't realize we had an issue with bloodless orphans. That's awful. Oh, yes, you know, orphans and people in the streets getting shot all the time. You know how it is. That's, oh, that's true. I have seen a lot of people in the streets getting shot frequently. That is very true, yes. So the blood goes out, but then the new fresh blood goes in. I uh, see, I just don't know if I trust that. You know, it just doesn't sound right. I just, you have to have some faith in the science. Ah, uh, well, I mean... In my experience, I guess it's all you really can have in a lot of things. That's right. Sometimes you just okay, have to just so, it's a roll of the dice. A strange robotic man is going to be somewhere in the. Now is it just is it just duos or is it trios? I believe yeah, duos. So everyone's um, paired off and I've just found myself alone. So I, I figured if uh, you know you're on your own, then maybe we might work together. Oh, well, that's all right. No, I was not too aware we had to arrive with a partner. So good thing you found. Uh, me. I was not aware of this either. Sheriff Development here, uh, Valentine, or Black. But now we know. <laughs> So good. I, what we'll so what we're looking for a, robo a mechanical man. I believe so, yes. Yeah, something made of, uh, of metal. Uh, yeah, I'm, not mm. gonna, I'm not going to go into detail about what I've done. Yagni, Mr. Duke will save you. Oh, she'll save you. What have you done, Amanda? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Amanda's being naughty. That's right, Ty Woods. I'm all nothing. over supplying blood. Nothing. For, I'm on to for, you, for legit blood transfusions, Lord, it's not I'm on to you. just just because my character's ah, a vampire no, has we nothing don't need, we don't to do need with weapons. it. We don't. We don't. I saw nothing. I know nothing. I heard nothing. I'm not aware of any of your comings yeah, yeah. and goings. <laughs> I'm not aware of of anything. I am not on to you. That was I misspoke. That was my bad. That's all good. Well, I'm just gonna go I'm I'm just taking the piss. I want you too, Ulysses. Oh. Yeah, you got We all want to agree not to shoot each other. He's Harriet. Oh, only oh, ever called me behind Please. you. He's Harriet behind you. It's much. It look above. Oh, shit. Oh, look up. Did you get your medal? Oh, oh holy fuck, shit! Up in the sky, there, Amanda. Oh <laughs> my goodness! Is that him? I'll put my what is that? I've never seen anything oh, like that. Is that okay? So so it it went over there. All right, I guess right, we go. Let's go, I guess. Yeah, let's we go. should go after. Uh, Where did that that went? That went. Uh, whatever that way that way is. How fast is your horse, Miss Harriet? Uh, pretty fast, actually. Um, I've got a Missouri. If you're confident yeah, with it, I'm happy yeah. to ride with you, but I get cold mine yeah. as well! Oh, I'm a little... That's not my horse. Oh! Ah. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> ah. Oh, yes, this looks like a fine. Oh, I like the headpiece. This is Clayton. Uh, ride fast, Clayton! Oh, shit! It looks like everybody's off to find this man! Now, are we... Are we putting it, putting this mechanical man down, or are we taking it alive? I well, I believe that the idea is just to bring him into custody. Uh, I don't know if it's meant to be if he's alive, if he's you know a metal suit or what the go is, but I believe that they they want to figure that out on their own as well. So yes. if we can do our best to bring him in alive, then that'd be great. How can yeah. a man fu function with just metal without blood? is beyond me, but I've seen well, stranger things. Yeah. Um, okay, so... I mean, he headed south. Yeah, so he definitely saw him go this way, but then there's the there's the river. But, I mean, he turned pretty quickly too, so... Did you see which way he turned? I missed that. No, I didn't. I'd, I'd assume to the right, though. Um, well, most would expect that he would immediately go northeast to the to the real hub of civilization. Yeah, that's what you'd assume. Ooh. But it is, the, the, the night is still early, so he very well could have gone right. But if we check then he's not there, well, we still have plenty of time to head the other that's way. That's true, yeah. yeah. I 
mean, Clayton's pretty fast, so... I'm not sure what kind of horse I have. I was I was gifted him. Uh, his name is Glue Two. Glue? Oh my goodness, that's not right. A cult brother gifted him to me when I arrived in country. Well, that's very generous of them. Very. I, I'd never I, met him before. Yeah, I met one of the cult brothers, the 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 leader, I believe. He he refers oh. himself as. Oh. Oh no 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 no! Clayton, careful! <laughs> Okay, uh, is there a way that we can safely go this way? It's, it goes for a bit, but it's quite slippery. And then I, mm. I can't see where it ends. Yeah, I don't know if it's safe for us to try and proceed that way. Let's see if we can go this way. Okay. I thought I may have seen a light down in the river, but I think it just may be the sun reflecting the reflection. The water. Yeah. Um, yeah, I gave them one uh, when they were first to county. They were um, up at my stables asking about new horses, and um, I don't know, some voice in the back of my head is just helping them out. So I gave them one of my old fully trained horses, and it turned out to be the, uh, the leader of the whole family. So, ah, so they're, they're still they're paying it forward. That's very good. Yeah, well, that's what I said to them because they once they realised what I gave them, and they wanted to pay for it, and I said I'd much rather you just pay that energy forward to someone else. Oh, that's awesome. lovely. Just gonna calm Clayton for a bit. He's a bit panicky. I don't blame him. That, 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 <laughs> that's what a good horse. Ah, oh, he's good. He's done me well for a while. I'm um, a trainer by trade, so I do the best I can to make sure they're doing the best they can. Ah, that's how you spend most of your time trading the horses. Uh, no, actually, I spend most of my time hunting. Um, I prefer just the quiet, <laughs> honestly. I don't blame you. Uh, yeah, I've made myself a bit of a profession, uh, perfecting the legendary hunts and tracking them. I've mapped out 64 different locations in the entire county. 64? Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm, I theorise that there is more, I just haven't been able to find any yet. Goodness gracious, what is what is the best hunt you've had so far? Oh, um... I'd say it's a toss-up. There's two. My very first one will always be my favourite one. Um, was a, a, a bear, one of the legendary bears, up in the snow. Um, and it just, the, the views around it, like the, the juxtaposed you know, fear of, of, of the bear with the calm of the snow, it was just the very first legendary I'd ever hunted and, and got successfully and it just felt right. <laughs> it just felt right in every sense of the word. Oh, I can, I can picture it now that would have felt uh, made it that bit extra special. Yeah, it, it felt like I actually did something right. Um, and you took on this bear was... all by yourself? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. But um, I've then since learnt a lot about legendaries and, and what... Um, differentiates them from from other animals around and uh, the best way to approach them and you know different ways that you can take them down quicker I can now successfully one shot every single legendary uh, just by trial and error of trying to figure out where the, the soft spot is to, to take them that's 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 it that's that is impressive but also kind of incredibly scary in a good way it, it's exciting. It's fun. Like it's. I, I don't. I'm not. I don't like really being in, in any sort of hostile altercation with man. I'd much rather keep my my morals and my hands clean in that sense. But but for legendaries, you know, you make a decent money selling the parts, and every bit is sold. Every bit is useful. Every bit has purpose. You know. Yes, you don't just kill for the fun of it. It serves a mm -hmm. purpose, and you do it respectfully. Mm -hmm. Like you don't go out and fish and fish up all the fish in a river so that then they cannot reproduce, so they can be more. Exactly. Fish. You, yeah. You, you do it with respect. It's everything. Um, you know, is is used, and, and it keeps me and my family alive. It's you know, majority of our revenue is is knowing the hunt. Uh, and, you know, as I said, it keeps my conscience and my hands clean. That's right. And the bear in the forest, it will hunt. It's uh, hunt as it's well. Oh, very to, much so. 
to look after itself and it's young, but it won't go and kill everything in the forest either. No, they're, they're predatorial to a point. Like, I prefer to focus on the predatorial legends because they're, they are a danger to, to anyone in the area if they're around. Um, but secretly, I prefer them because they're just that little bit easier. Um, like passive animals, if you go looking for a legendary deer or whatnot, if it senses you in the area, it'll run. And that makes it much harder for you to, to get a, a decent shot on them. Whereas the, the predatorial ones, they run at you. They give you more time to line <laughs> up a shot. They're looking for so, the fight. <laughs> yeah, they come for you. So you make more money because they are that much more dangerous. But if you know what you're doing and what you're looking at, they can just be that little bit more easier as well. Yes, the herbivores have certainly learnt in their instincts to uh, be looking out for characters like that. So you, you can't yeah. blame them. I understand that. It would make the hunt extra hard. Mm. Just, there's no politics, you know? It's it's just clean. It's purpose-filled. That's right. It's back to animal instinct, because at the end of the mm. day, even us uh, human beings... I'm just thinking, Animals. the likelihood of it going into Mexico is pretty slim. Like you said, you did see it turn. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but if, it's, if it started down this way, out in the desert, it would probably it head somewhere else. It might go up north, is yeah. there Is there any particular vantage points you're aware of we could use to scout the areas? It might be, if we head up towards Blackwater, we'll definitely get more of a, a view, at least from the water side there. Mm hmm. This will be good. You can use your hunting experience, your lay of the land. I mean, I'm, I'm used to, to hunting predictable animals. <laughs> Not, I, am, uh, I don't even know where to start. From metal. <laughs> Never seen a flying plate in the sky. With lights. Well, yeah, that's it. I, I, we've got nothing more to go on rather than something shiny in the sky moving at rapid speed and rapid directions that could have switched points at any point in time. So Much easier to see at night. I'm worried we might miss it in the daylight. Well, yeah, there's that as well. Like, we, we, I mean, I wouldn't have seen it had you not said, parry it, turn around. Um, I just so... happened to take a peek over my corner. I was like, why? Have I, have I, uh, have I had too much wine already tonight? <laughs> it's all about the long game. We can confirm yeah. that it did not return to that area. Yes. So going back to Armadillo would be a waste of time in it. Do you think maybe we should systematically check off each main POI? Just um, go through it wouldn't Blackwater, hurt. Strawberry. If, if we're going through them anyway. Yeah. And hopefully we might hear a thing or two. We can well, keep an eye yeah, out for the other I'm, hunters. That's what I'm thinking as well, is that if um, people have seen anything, um, hopefully they'll be able to give us something to go on. As someone that's still relatively new to the country, coming from a different place with a different culture, I can almost empathize with this mechanical man, where I would be mm. curious to investigate the built-up locations, but then I would also feel very, very cautious and would want to retreat yeah. to the wilderness. Yeah, I agree. Um, my family and I, we're gypsy. We, we travel. We don't lay claim to any one location or, or any one group of people. We mingle for business and, and whatever information we need that benefits our, our lives, but for the most part we stick to the fringes and, and avoid the majority of people. Ah uh, yes, many gypsies back where I come from in Transylvania. Oh. While it's Why nice to have a head though, uh, a roof over your head sometimes, you can feel a little restricting. Mm, I, I don't think, uh, I don't understand how people live their lives, you know, everything in, in one box, you know, you know, locked to one pot of land. It's just, there's no freedom in that. No, I feel like being sent here is almost like a blessing in disguise, mm. because I, I rarely set foot outside of my home homeland. Uh, but these gypsies, yeah. they would travel, they, you know, they would be coming through from the west, from as far as Spain. 
and heading over to the east and back and forth, going north up to Scandinavia and going south mm -hmm, to... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what's that city called now? It used to be called Constantinople. Is it still called that? Istanbul. Istanbul, Istanbul now, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I mean, for me, I'm much more rich in experience. Like, I'd much rather, you know, being able to, to move freely and, and soak up the, the experiences and culture of, of, you know, the multitudes of different people that you meet. You know, staying in one place with the same people every day can be very stale, can be very constricting. You know. Yes, I, um, I tried to get out of St. Lee as much as possible. I... I run my stables out of Saint Denis, but only because that's um, really the only place of business I c can run it with. Any luck? No, nah, not yet. How about you two? Yeah, no, we've seen everything. Uh, like heaps of flashing lights down south. Uh, oh, right. Eh? Yeah, no, can't can't say though. Can't couldn't yeah. couldn't say what we've seen specifically. You know how it is. Could not yeah. comprehend <laughs> what I was seeing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. Good luck, you two. Yeah, you two. Goodness, I have, I have no idea. I have no suggestions. I am, yeah, I'm, I, I wish it was darker, because I feel like if, if that thing is still shining bright, then we'd be able to see something from a distance. Okay, wait. Uh, Yes, if like Saint Denis, it gets a bit smoggy with all the chimneys. But if mm -hmm. it's somewhere high with a good view, without too much uh, you know, mountains or trees in the way. Interruptions, Especially yeah. if we are in a good vantage point by night time, I think we we might be on the something. I agree. I'm just this is the problem. Like even now, look at the fog in front of us. Yes, it, this is not helping. Even if we had a good vantage point, I don't know if that would really help us. <laughs> but I can't. I, I, apart from Saint Denis, I mainly, I mainly frequent the the mines between Ansberg and Saint Denis. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'll pop on over to Valentine, and then a lot of the time I'll spend down, just mining down in the deserts. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I, I, I can't think of anything else that might be beneficial. I, I feel like Strawberry is a good place to go, um, as anything there would pretty much stick out like a sore thumb. Um, in my travels, I found that Strawberry is one of the few places that hasn't progressed into the modern age. Yes, um, I love the... Uh, gas lanterns and, and whatnot, which is wonderful. I definitely sent some European influence on the architecture. I felt like I was back in the <laughs> Black Forest of Germany. Of... Germany. Yeah, it's it is. I when my family and I first moved to the county, um, we camped in Little Creek River um, and did most of our our hunting or the basics thereof through straw. And it just always felt closer to home in that sense. And after a while, we we overstayed our welcome and packed up camp and moved. But Strawberry will always have that that sense of home to me because of that. Yes. Well, you can always go back after, you know, time heals uh, most wounds. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't mean overstay our welcome in terms of, like, causing any harm, but more in the sense of, you know, you stay too long and you start to feel like you're growing roots. Ah, um, yes. Yeah. Yes. Hey. And so, as they say, variety is the spice of life. Very much so, yeah. So we pack up, we move. Hope for a better future. That's good. I think it's a good idea because it's it also feels a bit more remote up here. Is it? Uh... Yeah, it's what? isolated without being cut off from everything. Usually when I come into Strawberry, one of my favourite places to be is in that water trough. Thing. I just sit and watch the world go by. Uh -huh. If I have this right, my pocket watch says it's almost approaching lunchtime. So we've got quite a quite a long time until night time. Yeah, my my concern is if if whatever that thing is stops shining bright, are we going to be looking for the wrong thing? Definitely keeping my eye on the sky. Good. 
Oh, hello. Hello, Phoenix. Hello, Banner. Great minds think alike. Yeah. yeah. Seen yeah. anything? No, but finding a needle in the haystack. <laughs> yes. Oh, far out. I haven't even seen anyone but you guys. Well. Yeah, we saw some people in Blackwater. Um, but I think the, we've we've turned back from the border to to Mexico because I don't know about you. I'm not about to get shot by by border patrol. Um, yeah, Phoenix was heading to Mexico. I'm like, um, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna systematically try and uh, eliminate certain areas. But we were just discussing that whether or not we're looking for whatever that thing was in the sky. And if we are looking yeah, for that thing, if it's still going to be shiny or not. Yeah, and that's that. Is he staying in one place and staying put, or is he moving? I would like to hope so. Otherwise, we're going to be here a long time, not doubling back. Because yeah. um, I'm on the mentality of, well, I've already looked there, so I'm not going to look again. Yeah. Because there's, there's water, too many so. places to go look. Yeah. The gamble may pay off. He may come here and we'll be the lucky ones. Maybe he may never come here. <laughs> we just stay here um, and then hope he shows up. Well, the drop off points are Valentine, Blackwater, and um, Armadillo. So. Oh, you know where. Actually, I'm not going to tell you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like spotting a needle in the haystack. You I make a call, just head riding there. I do not buy. I was thinking of a little creek. I think parrots come from there. Did you? Uh, well, I mean, historically, yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Good luck. Okay, so we're gonna go to Little Creek through Tall Trees. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Imagine if he just if just flew overhead right now. Oh, Come on, so where hard. are you? Show yourself. Just go here. We won't promise we won't hurt you. Maybe Should just a little go? bit of science. See a bird, another bird, um, some clouds. Can you see, uh, being up the mountain would be nice because it's quite high, but can you s actually see very far from the summit? Howdy Neo Wisp, how you going? Well, the um, capture the flag is, it's cap, oh, we're capturing as I a... I see that it clears up, okay. That, we're, we're capturing right. a robot type. Thank you, Lord. Um... So an admin is playing as, it's like this steampunk looking western robot. And it's a competition tonight where the first team to capture him and deliver him to a sheriff's department in one of the three one of three cities wins. But so he'll be flying around in his flying saucer somewhere, and then he'll run around. Hold on. Oh, it's just an eagle. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. There's little silhouettes up there. And I thought they may be little it silhouettes of eagle. a man, but it was not. It was just a... It's a, a big bird. bloody eagle. I thought, oh is, that, is that a mechanical man staring at us? So no. we can go um, north and check out Little Creek River. Um, or we can go south and check out Tall Tree. Oh, well, I, ma I imagine... You know, both over time, if you can, if you know of a good route that will get us to both quickly, go for it. Uh, unfortunately, they don't loop back into each other. We're kind of at a, a, a crossroads now. Ah. I think maybe if we go down south, check out tall trees, and then we can cover a bit more ground going back north. Go with your a guts. A different way than what we just come. Yeah. Like you said, you've done 64. At least six, hey. 64 successful legendary hunts. Yeah. So you, you should be <laughs> trusting your guts. Well, as I said before, I'm, I'm used to tracking animals that have at least some level of you know, predictability. Whereas I have no idea what I'm looking for. I guess keep in mind what you've learned and then flip it. 
Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, that, yes. <laughs> Let's do that. Yeah. Do the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Don't listen to my gut. <laughs> oh, near whiff. That's... Hey, there'll be more events. There'll be more events. Oh, Ty. Like, the, it could be... We might not see... Um it for the rest of the night like but this is all we can do we can just do you do yes. much hunting have you do you often find yourself in a similar situation uh, no i uh, apart from organizing the odd blood drive helping out with the doctors it's mainly just orphans i'm yeah. just really trying to uh, get back on my feet i I could not bring my substantial fortune with me from Transylvania, so I've had to... Uh, oh. I only just today, I uh, I made enough money mining to buy a new fancy fully upgraded pickaxe to uh, make my oh, work more efficient. I've heard about those. That's exciting. One thousand dollars! Oh my goodness. That Well, it, it better make the job much easier if that's the cost. It should hopefully triple or quadruple my productivity. And then once I have enough money, I'm going to buy a second pickaxe. So while one is damaged, I can be using the other one. And then with that, then once I have that sorted, I will buy a bigger wagon to store more supplies. You know what? You seem like you've got this all sorted out. I hope so. It's very slow and very lonely. Yeah, I get that. Um, when I first started just hunting, it did feel rather tedious. But, you know, when I got enough pelts together so that I could then start storing carcasses in a wagon and then got enough pelts and carcasses that I could start getting a bigger wagon and just all those little levels of achievement just made it feel that much more worth it. And, and, That's how I'm looking at this enjoyable. special pickaxe yeah. and wagon. Like little, little goals to be going for. Yeah, that's it. Like, if I, um, I quite frequently keep myself uh, poor, for lack of a better word. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, good karma, so I'm I'm always doing what I can to try and give back to new people and whatnot. Um, yes. But it's twofold: a, good karma helping new people, but b, keeping myself poor gives me incentive to keep grinding. I've got something to do and a reason to do it. I can definitely feel that karma definitely comes for us all. Yes, very much so. Um, um, the, my family and I live on a very... Uh, Whoa! Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that, that's bad karma. Uh, it seems there may have been... Uh, the word through the grapevine is to the east. Uh. So in the early hours... So it's what? What time is it now? I'm, so it's okay. about, you it's in the afternoon. If it was over in Rhodes in the morning. But that's the thing, it could still be over to the east, but it might head over here to the west. Who knows, yeah. I'm guessing we'll we'll take that, uh, that as a sign from the gods and uh, maybe venture that way instead. Um... Because my goal was to just get as high up in tall trees and have a look around. Uh, gorgeous views. So yes. Not really a waste of time. Um, I'm but seeing not a lot exactly more what we're country. looking for. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> Maybe someone in the roads will have more information. They can tell us which way it went from there. Hopefully. I, I'm, I'm hoping that at the very least, if um, there's nothing tangible to, to spot, that someone can at least give us an idea. So much zooming around tonight. Did you bring plenty of food and drink? Ah, yeah, I did. Uh, I quite frequently um, uh, stop off at any of the saloons around town. Um, I'll let you in on a secret. I, I have a favourite beverage at every saloon, and I quite frequently like to start um, competitive drama, for lack of a better word. Yes. Um, I, I like to tell, um, for example, Richard, he, he has um, wonderful uh, Earl Grey tea um, at the saloon. Um, and I always like to keep him on his toes by telling him that the tea in Valentine is better. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, 
or uh, uh, there's a, a carbonated cola beverage, uh, TJ, um, TJ Pepper, that you can get in Rome. Um, I guess it's just really pick on Richard because I, I quite frequently like to tell him that it may not be the original, but it is the best. Uh, <laughs> so I like to keep a variety of different beverages from around the county just for such occasions. You should keep him on his toes so he keeps uh, doing the best work he can. Cause I, I am a big <laughs> fan of that Fortress Cola. I oh, it is. It is a delicious beverage. It is arguably one of the best in county. But, you know, someone's got to keep him humble, you know? Yes, you don't want him to get uh, too comfortable <laughs> and stop <laughs> innovating. Yes, very much. But uh, I don't often really buy all that much food. Um, being a hunter, it kind of seems a bit counterproductive to um, not feed myself. Um, I, I like to, as I said before, really utilize what I'm hunting and make sure nothing goes to waste. So um, cooking the food that I've caught, cooking the meat that I've caught, uh, uh, feeds me and my family directly. I imagine you would have an excellent rhythm with that by now. Very much so, yeah. Um, it's just the most uh, efficient in, in doing what we do, um, especially being gypsy. We don't store anything long term. Everything's in the day. So whenever I go do my legends and um, go hunting them, I'll hunt the bait that I need in the same sort of moment. So I'm not really needing cart or, or storage for anything long term. Everything's within the day, and then before I go to bed, I, I clean out my pockets and sell anything left over, all ready to start the very next day. Oh, very, that's very good. I should probably consider doing something similar. I try to stockpile <laughs> up, and then the food goes off. Or uh, the, the yeah, drinks, stockpiling food leak. is not a good thing in in any way. It's not good for the economy. It's not good for your pocket, and it's certainly not good for whatever bacteria might be. Uh, building uh, up. Yes. <laughs> Yucky. Thank you, Wisp. I'm really glad you're having a wonderful start with your time on the server. Oh, I do hope we see something in this fog. I see a rainbow, which is nice and all, but it's not what <laughs> well, we're I mean, after. That's a good sign. That's maybe a good he's omen, at, at least. Maybe he's at the <laughs> bottom of one of the ends with the pot of gold. Uh, I believe you're thinking of leprechauns. Yes, he, he's a... Um, uh, no, is I this... don't believe that we are. I mean, it is St. Patrick's Day, so. Is it? It is, yeah. Oh my! Whoops! I completely yeah. forgot. <laughs> 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 yeah. So I mean, you could be onto something there. <laughs> Maybe he's a, a very special leprechaun. <laughs> A very special metal plated leprechaun. Yes, well, with all that money they have, they could have the means to build all sorts of uh, contraptions. True. I think I subscribe to that theory a lot more than uh, anything else we've uh, theorized thus far. It's definitely a leprechaun. Until we see this bastard with our own eyes, who knows what to expect? <laughs> so we have proof otherwise. That's right. For now, it's all theories. <laughs> but just wait till we get our hands on it. That shiny metal son of a bitch. I have no idea where this mechanical man's gonna be. But it's nice though, we get to hear a lot about Harriet's backstory and you know, another character's perspective, which is nice. It's a robot shaped for I'm goal. assuming you've got enough um, food and, and, and drink, yes? Yes, I have some uh, meat in my pockets, as well as some uh, uh, baked beans on toast wrapped up, and oh. some orange juice, and I've recently come to enjoy the cowboy cocoa you can find down in Armadillo. Oh, yeah, you can get that at a few different saloons. They sell it at the Valentine one as well. Um, oh! When it was a while back, we had massive blizzards and snowstorms. And it was very cold everywhere and uh, exclusively um, lived off of the, co uh, the cocoa. It just ah. really hit the spot. <laughs> yes, it does. It's almost like a little meal. Yeah, very, yeah, it, it's definitely... I think there's just a lot of... Um, fat and sugar in, in the ingredients that it can't not um, at least fill you up in some part. A nice little treat now and then. Mm.
I'm not seeing anything. I don't know how anyone could see anything in this fog. Yes, we're not having much luck with the the weather. At least it's not stormy. Mm. I but That's I may have just jinxed us. You might have, yes. Oh, um, shit. Well, I mean, it's, at least it's not a snow snowstorm. Uh, nothing can be worse than that, really. Oh God! Oh no! If he goes up into the snow, we're doomed. Ah! Uh, well, well, I mean, you'll be in your element. In very much so. Yes, um, it's one of my favourite places to hunt. There's uh, there's about seven different legendaries all in a, a small area that I um, uh, uh, adore it up there. It's just so calm and um, uh, fruitful. Who's that? Who's that crazy looking? The locals. Man? He Give seems a bit disoriented. One minute. You there? Hello. You okay, sir? Have you seen anything stranger than yourself recently? This man, I think he's, I think he's high as a kite. Hey. Nope. Okay. He's not responding at all. I oh, is that someone up near the stable? Where they look? Oh, it's fat. Oh, you again? Oh. How dare you? You just left without Phoenix. No, I'm getting money. You okay, Phoenix? Not yeah. from running, I just saw you do. Yeah, I want a bug I want a buggy. I'm sick of riding a horse. Have you guys had any um any luck up here? No, um the guys at the front of um TJ Saloon said they seen something colourful. Oh, I might go talk to them and see what they saw. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Phoenix. Oh good. It's getting dark. It is. That helps us. Oh, okay, not too short. But okay, thank you very much. All right, good luck. Hello there. Hello. Good evening. Hello, gentlemen. Howdy. How are we going? Um, I assume you can guess while we're here. You haven't seen anything strange or flashing in the area at all, have you? Try St. Denis or Grizzlies, that's where the diagonal mm -hmm. light went to. Oh, yeah. the Grizzlies. The... I find something we're strange, men crashing into feds. Yeah. <laughs> so you saw it head east, is what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Mr. Mize, you don't sound very confident, are you sure? Yeah. I'm just not in the greatest thing. mood, and we were inside while it happened. I'm going you know, off of have, the, how the is. light went. Okay, that's okay. Well, thank you, you for the information you have. Yeah, happy hunting. Yeah, happy hunting. Weird. Weird, like. We yeah. just saw strange lights. That's why we ran outside, and then we disappeared. And they they headed east. Is that what Maya said? Yeah, yep. possibly. Now it's pos aye, aye, aye. possible. Aye, aye, aye. You either oh. saw them head that way or you didn't see them head that way. Which way did you see them head? I'm saying possibly because I'm just going off of how the light went inside the saloon, so I don't. I think Mr. Mike said 1,000 reasons would jog his memory. Isn't that right? I think yeah. it was 2,000 reasons. Sort of helps with the memory. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't witness anything. TJ? You're gonna punch me, aren't you? <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I would I... never. I would never, unless yeah, you were in a here ring. Here we go. Here we unless go. you were in a ring, in which case you know how it will end. So, did you or did you not see anything helpful? Please, TJ, you wonderful, helpful human being who loves to be helpful. Um, I'm being honest. We saw strange light, ran out, didn't see nothing. Okay. Right. So the best bet we have is to assume the east. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, but that's what we did. Like like okay, yeah. easy. All right. Well, I guess we'll try to the east and see what we can see. Very Good well. Good luck. They talk about the glowing stars. Yes. Yeah. Ah, honestly, it could be anywhere. With the way in which we saw it move, it could be in direction in any sort of space. Yeah, this is right. Uh, I just assuming glowing stars, maybe bright lights of Saint Denis. What? Yeah. Right. Well, I guess we'll 
I think I'll leave a hole by the way. Let's try it. Good luck, happy hunting. Sorry? I said good luck, happy hunting. Oh, oh, oh not, not, not you, sir. This, this gentleman. Sorry, what did you say? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I can't say it. I've seen it. I've seen it in road. 200 dollars and we'll take you there. Okay. Have a good day, gentlemen. Yeah, well, that's your last. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, I'll nice later. Here, you? Yeah, no, thanks, mate. I don't pay for information. <laughs> Have a good day. Well, it's not here. That's for damn sure. Yeah. And respectfully, in my experience, anyone who's charging you for information is either taking you for a ride or giving you something you can get for free. That's right. He is deaf. There's no guarantee, and especially a man wearing a handkerchief and well, goggles. That's what I'm saying. I'm not about to trust a man in a mask, especially oh. when they really, they, they, you know, who's to say they were even here? And when they've said nothing with, um, you know, those gentlemen who've definitely seen. Um, good. Oh no, the fog is back. But this is not helpful at all. So if, okay, Mr. Myers thinks it's headed towards Saint Denis. Uh, yeah, I imagine uh, I may if I was tentatively sent east. <laughs> like I, I feel like it would go to Saint Denis, have a look around, and as as mm -hmm. most people get a little bit uh, spooked by the amount of buildings and crazy people, mm -hmm. and then it could head north into the, yeah. the swamp where it's quiet. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that might be a better approach. If we head into St. Denis, have a look in the general area, um, and then start heading up towards Van Horn. So it's quite laid back north of here. It's, it's an interesting... some interesting characters. Mm. I haven't been to Van Horn for a while. When I first come to County, there was a a group of bandits um, that that run out of there. They did a lot of um, bank jobs and, and train heists. And the Roanoke like Raiders? A... No, uh, they called themselves the Nugget. Uh, ah! Ah! Yeah. Um, I saw them do a couple of bank jobs and my family and I were on a train once. They uh, put a carriage in the, the train line and, and stopped the train, held everyone up and then stole the train. So. But we got out of there because we weren't about to get involved in someone else's politics and put our own lives in the line. I did meet one once, and he he came with me to Blackwater to speak on Richard Dome's behalf to mm -hmm. someone, in the the brown nugget, uh, Harry with an eye, and he was a very strange. Guy. Harry with an eye. <laughs> I'm going to cut through the bayou and just have a look through the marsh before heading into St. Denis. Just because anything can get lost around here. Keeping my eyes on the sky. Come on. Where are you? Now would be the perfect time for it to show up. They're a very funny gang, Neo Wisp. If you ever see them, you're in for a treat. But yeah, um, I was told that they live out of um, Van Horn. Uh, the, the handful of times that I did go there, usually to sell parts of me. There's a, a few rabid raccoons that uh. potentially have rabies that live uh. there. So of and time I have gone, you know, not heeding the warnings of the, the nuggets in general, I've been bitten by by a raccoon. So oh my I just God. I don't go to Van Horn because it just doesn't seem like it'll ever end well. I hope you drank plenty of water after that. I, yeah, I cleaned the, the bite as best I could and um, nothing seemed to come from it. But, I mean, if I did have rabies, how would I know? Oh, you do. Well, you'd probably, uh, being, you know, rather than, you know, being careful with your hands, you'd probably just go running in, foaming at the mouth. So, unless you've been That's super fair. aggressive like that, you'll, you're all right. I mean, I... I could be perceived as uh, super aggressive for a lot of people, um, but I don't think I've ever once foamed at the mouth Ugh. during. It's not so a good I sight. guess that's a good sign. Yeah. Um, right, well, not anything through the marsh that's standing out. I suppose it could be going without drinking blood long enough. Get a bit crazy. It's good, my, um,. My streams is this character near Wisp when there's not events on. Mm. I spend most of it. Well, not Wouldn't most. Wouldn't it be unfortunate if it, it landed somewhere around here and um, 
the gator got to it before we did. Oh god. That's yeah. The, yes. If, hey, partner. If it did land out here, we'd have to contend with a number of gators. Or if it's in another oh. spot, some bears. Oh, I did not think of that. Well, yeah, that was the biggest thing I was concerned about with tall trees is that we go exploring, but there's a lot of grizzlies that live in tall trees that are very, uh, very territorial. Oh dear. So I'm kind of glad we didn't spend too long there. What if it is in Saint Denis? It's a, it's a big city with lots of nooks and crannies. It could yeah. be hiding. Well, that's a, yeah, I'm, I'm concerned as to whether or not we're looking for whatever vessel it's in and not looking for it himself, potentially, on foot. Where would a mechanical man want to go? What? Do, 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 does something like that need to eat something or consume mm. something? Fuel, potentially, I'm, I'm guessing. Did I hear there's oil fields outside Valentine? There is oil fields outside Valentine, yeah. Would that... I'm thinking, well, look in the industrial area first. Because, I mean, this is where the majority of things are made. Because you'd want to assume that something technological might be in this area. It might feel um, at home. Yeah. Maybe it wants to build more mechanical men. There is a place... Um, a very, very long time ago. I'm not sure if you've ever met Yuri. Um, <laughs> yes. But um, there's a place I know of that uh, Yuri used to do some, um, for lack of a better word, experiments. Really? Uh, yeah. There was this big, uh, I don't know how to describe it or what it's called, but like electricity on a, on a, on a pole, like fairy floor. Um, ah. So where is this? Or not, where is this place? Um, up, up north. The word on the street is between here and where we were. Mm. But we didn't see anything. No. Well, definitely this place with the electricity. Maybe keep that in mind if we go near it. Definitely point it out, because that could be something. Hello, mister. Word on the street. Fields between Rhodes and St. Denis. But then... It's towards Caliga Hall. At the very least, we can cross that off if nothing's there, and it is close by. Yes. I feel like my brain's turning to mush. Every theory I have is just another guess, really. No, it's there's only so much you can do in a situation like this. Like trust your gut, but but he could go either way. You're staying in a place, you could get lucky and happen to see it, or if not, keep moving yeah. again. A roll I'm now of the looking dice. at everything like it's the first time I'm seeing it. Like, is that is that something I should be taking notice to? Is that something I should take notice to? Anything with lights, I'm. Definitely taking a second look at. Well, yeah, just that that building, that mill behind us. I feel like is maybe a bit more lit up than when I'm here. Oh what, my goodness, what's that? What is that? What is that? That's insanely bright. Go, Miss Harriet. Go. Oh. There's more than one of them. Oh my God. What is that to the left? That's the plate. I... Go to the I other one. It's so Wait. bright. Hold on. What do we do with it? Dolores? Yes, it's me. I can just see bright lights. I can only hear you. Oh, really? I'm here. I can't see shit. Hello? Oh, there you are. I can see you now. I'm putting the light I... behind us. I can't. I don't know what to do with it. What have you got? Nothing. <laughs> I'll go to the other one. Let's take a... I'm going to take a closer look. Yeah. Ah, it hurts! Oh, oh, no. oh shit! Hold on! Alright! If, if I run into anyone, I apologize. Oh, I can't see shit. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I can't get out of my binoculars. Oh, it's so bright! I think we're going to... Are we dying? <laughs> ah. 
Oh! It has a nice trip. <laughs> I find this thing, a big shiny hello? thing. Oh, hello, hello guys. I find this big shiny thing. I don't know yeah, what to do. Yeah, I don't know what to do. There's two more down the other end, and I don't know what to do. So maybe we're looking in the field. Field? You reckon? Somewhere? Yes, in the field maybe. Everywhere around here. could be hiding anyway here. That's what I'm thinking. If it's not near it's some sort of shelter. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, I don't want to run you over. Miss Harriet, are you in here? Miss Harriet! I lost sight of you! Oh no. Oh no, I've lost Harriet. Harriet! You look at she's over there in the back corner. Where? Jump on and show you. Thank you, I, I can't I, find her. It's okay, he, she is over here, I think. Ah, oh, Miss Harriet! There she is, friend. I lost you in the van. Yeah, I... Hmm. I was just thinking. Mm -hmm. Is the... It's just three lights, yes? Yeah. Are they forming an arrow? That's true, but if it's three, what's the point? Which yes. Is, which is the, the which, directional point? Which is the unique one? Is it these two look closer together? These My concern. So this is what I was saying before that are we looking for the lights or whatever's in it? And if it's landed, then it's potentially run. But there's one, two. I mean, I would have run for cover into one of those buildings, but. see anything from it's hard to see with that light yeah but i feel that these two lights are close together mm -hmm. the third one is off by itself it may be the point so if you feel we have time to indulge in this crazy theory it may uh, yeah, be yeah yeah i mean it's better theory than what i've got um so which direction do we think it's pointing so where is the third the, one over past the houses i think to the right I think the third one was. See anything? Yes, over there. Right. Uh, yeah. But then they're not straight. They're not lined no. up. No. Mm, maybe, maybe not. Hmm. So that from that one you can definitely see that one, and then from that one you can definitely see this mm -hmm. one over here. Could you see a fourth light from the third one? Maybe it's no. like a trail, like red crabs. Well, that's what I thought when we saw the third one, but... So they've this... gone this way, this way. Maybe if we keep heading this general direction, maybe we'll see a fourth. Potentially, yeah. I mean, it's better theory than none. It's... It would be... I 
feel like it would be within eyesight. And very obvious, but I'm not seeing anything. I'm just trying to, I mean, if, if whatever it is, is under the impression that it's being chased, then it wouldn't really stop in one position. But if it's, you know, running and hiding in fear, then it may stay in one position. But if that's the case, the average person would go for some sort of covering. That's right. And it's, it, as far as we know, it's alone. But I mean, there's three vessels that, that we've seen. So now I'm... I'm not sure. If it did run in this direction, the only thing that I like, guess coverage, I guess, is um, the the church that's just to our left. Um, I'm not sure if you've been this way before, but there was a civil war. Oh, oh fuck! Are you okay? Yes. Is Clayton all right? Yeah. He's a massive a goose. War. He looks like a horse. He's a fucking goose. I um, did meet some blacksmiths in Strawberry that fought on a side of the civil war you speak of. Ah, uh, yeah, I believe you met the Confederate. I think that rings a bell. Yeah, in my personal opinion, they're on the wrong side of history. Oh dear. Yeah. I mean, their, their fight is to... Uh, I guess they want to to you know, still have slaves, and they don't like that um, it's been decreed that they can't. Oh and, dear. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of, of that. As, as I'm sure you're already aware, I'm I'm in the mindset of everyone being free. Yes, yes. We can hear. Oh dear, this is certainly worse for wear. Not seeing anything. Ah! It's destroyed. It's the sun over there. I'm thinking maybe if it's daytime, the sun can compete with that light. And maybe... Tricky. Who knows? Mm. That's it. I, I mean, everything I know about hunting and and whatnot, I don't know what I'm hunting. So it's kind of hard to predict when we know nothing about these uh, uh, visitors. Three lights in a field. So many mm. people running around. What? What could it mean? And I thought it could be an arrow, but then if it was, you know, I feel like well, if someone yeah. could fly around like that, they would make a, you know, a neat arrow, but it certainly was not. <laughs> There's not, a, I'm really, re I'm really grasping here, but that's, it wasn't the same shape as a, uh, a constellation or... Hmm. Uh... Oh dear! The word on the street is maybe we should have stayed back in the desert. Where's Phoenix? I'm not sure. You see something, Banner? Where's Phoenix? I, I don't know! There is. There is. The word now is armadillo is the place to be. Right, yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness! See, we could I mean, have we just can see sat there. A lot better in the day. We oh sh I should have listened to you from the beginning. Just stay there. This is interesting. Oh, we, did, we were just throwing out ideas, but he, who knows? Maybe he might not have even gone back there if people didn't spook him too much here. It is all right. Mmm, beans on toast. We're not going to be able to to get there any quicker. 
We'll go up and get a boat. I'm not sure if you've um, experienced it yet, but they've recently got a port now out of um, St. Denis that heads to, to Blackwater, and it's so fast. It's a oh, very really? fast ferry. Yeah. It is $25 to, to take it, though. I'm, $25? I'm yeah. Do you, do you have the money? Not really. Not until I get set up with my second special pickaxe in the wagon. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still very I've early got a days. a bit of money here, and it'll still be much quicker for us to, to get um, a boat from here to Blackwater than what it would be for us to, to try and race sure. the... Yeah, well, I, I did the same trip earlier on today, and it takes about 15, 20 minutes to get from here to um, Blackwater. Um, just going at fastest speed possible, so knowing that... Faster um, than horseback? Yes, uh, it'll still be much quicker for us to take a boat and then go from horse there. Um, so Very it won't well. be long, just give me a second. No problem. Apparently, apparently, I've read in the Discord that the mechanical man was sh was killed and had to respawn. I have a feeling that the uh, the target was killed when the goal is to take it alive. I hope that's not the case. I think someone may have been a little bit trigger happy. I'm not even remotely surprised. <laughs> As I said, you'd think that whatever this strange visitor is, you'd, you'd want to question them for whatever they might be you know, involved in or, or doing, or, or know for that matter. Something that's not from here. Killing it's not going to serve any purpose. I will try as to make a I'm point aware, to stop through roads, roads near no reason to, to react in a hostile way. Yes, yeah, so we have the numbers. And it hasn't appeared to be hostile yet. It's Clayton. Okay. Hopefully Clayton here. Yeah, I'll give you the money. Um, I grabbed enough out to do the, the faster travel. I've never actually done the faster travel before. So... That's very kind of you. Thank you, Miss Harriet. Oh, it's not a stress at all. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> Tell me something I couldn't have guessed. Alright, Blackwater. Oh no. Oh no! I think she knocked the man in the water! Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh no! Oh god, I gotta get him out. I need you! Come on! Oh, you bastard! I gotta get him to shore. Oh, fuck! I think I gotta talk to him. But I don't think I can talk to him in the water. Oh no... Oh, you bastard! Oh, can I? Come on. No! No! Oh, no! Bruh. Bruh. Oh, it's not that much faster, Dark? Oh, no. Come on. Come here.
Maybe. Just maybe when he's out of the water. You can talk to him again. Fuck! <laughs> There's definitely not a spot. Mother. Mother. No, nah, it's definitely... If there is something here, I'm not seeing it. Shit. 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 Alright, Harriet's on her own. Until... No. My only, my only, the only thing I can do is I can ride that way. And if the, if, if, if the mechanical man heads out of the desert, maybe I can cut him off. That's, that's the only chance I've got. That's the only chance I've got, but it's so far away. It's so far away, dude. Oh no. Well, that's unfortunate. I hope she knows to go on. Go on without me. <laughs> hey, Mr. Phenom. That is very unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. But no... F she wouldn't have known. She was just, you know, thinking to be quick to run down there. But the... The speed she was running and she bumped into him. Knocked him in the water. That's... Accidents happen. These things happen. Hopefully... Hopefully she gets there. My, but yeah, my only my only chance now is if I can somehow get to that side of that area and cut off the the robot if he's running out of it. That's the only. That's all I can do. That is all I can do. I have no other choices. There's no other way to get there quick.
<laughs> hey, Regals. Yeah, I've, um... Yeah, dude, I I might have to go back and clip that. It was pretty funny. Like, you, you like, sprinted down, and he was just like, it's like, boop, and he's like, Aah! into the water. And so, then you disappeared, and I go up, and then there's, like, nothing to interact with, like, at all. It's like, uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, no! It was really funny. Okay, Prem says... Prem is cool with teleporting me. Alright, I will... I will tell him I'm 137. Harriet is waiting in Blackwater. Thank you. <laughs> it's not like I'm getting teleported. Um, she is one, five, three. It's not like we're getting teleported down to the dead. But, you know, the... Oh! But the intent was there. Oh! Sorry, I fell in the water. Well, I mean, I'm a little concerned. That was $60 for the fastest travel, and that that took a while. No, it's, it's my Are fault. Are you sure you got the fast travel? I, I did. I tripped, and I fell in the water, and they had to fish me out. Because with this weird oh, cult... And all my knickknacks, I had trouble staying afloat. Down. Yes, it's my bad. That's not an idea at all. No. See, this is usually my... I'm going to the desert to mine and not get dust in my eyes outfit. It's really not my yep. getting a bolt tire. Yeah, fair. Well, hopefully uh, we still have time. I mean, it's still a lot faster than, than um, traveling from St. Anita Blackwater on horse either way. There's still a chance! There's still a chance! I was thinking maybe all the people running around, they will essentially herd the mechanical man in our direction. Uh, possibly, and I'm also thinking given the sheer amount of people we saw in the fields there, they're more than likely on horseback as well heading this way because I didn't see anyone coming from the docks while I was there. Yeah, so oh. we, we might have made up time. I don't think we're all that behind because uh, there there is reports of there be people already there having shot um, at this thing. So. But then it's not over if they even if they catch him, they still have to safely uh, deliver they, him. Uh, yeah, that's exactly it. And I guess uh, I'll sleep uh, now. In in that regard, if we see someone with him, there's no real reason why we can't stop them and, and take take it ourselves. I mean, it's basically the laws of bounty. How is your conscience feeling today? Uh, well, look, I, I usually move through life with a very clear conscience. Um, but I'm, I'm looking at this more as a preventative type measure because people have already tried to harm him. So. Yes, of course. We must, yeah. is, we must do... We must get our hands dirty for the greater good. Exactly. Yes, it's it's for the greater good. So we, if we uh, have to put some trigger happy people down, we can still. I'd still sleep rather sound. not harm someone if I can avoid that. You know, oh. keep my hands clean and all that. Oh, um, of course, you can leave them. I don't, tied I don't know your desert. personal preference. I mean, being a doctor yourself, I'm sure you'd understand that you know preservation of life is the utmost importance. Um, Oh, yes, okay. everybody should get a second chance. Yes, well, you know, someone yeah. could wriggle out of ropes in the desert but, before well, the vultures arrive. Exactly, a non-hostile approach. I'd rather, you know, save someone from themselves or, you know, hurting others um, with rope as opposed to, you know, as you say, gunslinging, putting someone down. I don't know if I feel comfortable with that. Oh, you know, yes, of course, you know, tie them up or whatever first, but, you know, self-defense. Just saving them from themselves, yeah. They don't and know what they're doing. saving this mysterious visitor. You think what this mechanical man could teach us all about where, what his deal is? I want to know more about those flying things and the lights, like that. That's more exciting than anything. Yes, we could learn a great deal. Yes, 
Excuse me, sir. Don't mind us. Sorry. So the word on the street was he was uh, it's was sighted running around New Austin looking for Trying shelter. Trying to find shelter. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what I theorised before. That if it's on the run, then you know, logically, you try and find some sort of shelter to to run and hide too. So. How do you feel about the settlements in the north? North of Armadillo uh, and Tumbleweed. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to go check around those areas. Um, I spent a bit of time there um, in my early days. There used to be um, a vendor. Um, a, a it is steampunk. a lot of um, pelts and whatnot. But he would always um, pay a lot more than the average vendors around County would. So. Um, had to travel this way just to sneak into Mexico just to deal with him but on the way out we'd usually stop in these sort of settlements just to get provisions rocks. I just feel rat skull of fork in there. Is it twin rocks? I don't know. Hmm. They speak to me. Maybe even the mines over in the tumbleweed. That is definitely shelter. True. Yeah, that's true. Maybe it will eat the iron ore. That's an interesting idea, yeah. Any sort of mineral deposits. Everything needs to eat, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, we all need fuel to survive. I can't use my binoculars on horseback, so I gotta really, I gotta squint to see further. Oh, but there are buildings to the south there. Oh, it could be anywhere. You'll call if you see or feel something. I need to stop and turn. There's some buildings just to the south there. Uh, okay with you i'm gonna head towards fort mercer um mercer um, if that's how you say it it's um an old military base um that's not really used anymore but it is pretty central to new austin and pretty decent coverage so Please at do the it. very least if we can yeah head to the center and span out and maybe might see something or someone along the, way. the other places will still be there yeah let's just keep our eyes peeled on the way I can't believe we went all the way up north just to come back down here. Yes. But, you know, it's our it's goals. What about that might, little shack there? Yes, so I might check this up here. Have a wonderful sleep, actor. Wait. Oh. There's another shack straight ahead. Might just try to go and go have a look. It's worth a shot. Davis and Cassidy. I think. Or Hamish and Zelda, I'm not certain. Either way. I think they've got the same idea. Great minds do think alike. So 
Oh. Sorry, Hamish. We'll give you a top he pin. Left He's not in there. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Well, it's a little crowded for my taste. I don't know about you. Yes. Oh no. Oh. Maybe it's right. uh, maybe we should head to Armadillo. I agree. Ride like the wind, Clayton. Fly. <laughs> oh shit. Keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> Apparently it's on tied up on someone's horse, and so they want to be delivering oh, it to. Clayton's getting a little lost. They want to deliver it to one of three places. Um, I'm just going to jump off quickly and feed him because he's getting a bit cranky, and I'm worried that by the time we get there and see something, we might get fucked off. You're all right, you big goose. Calm down. Armadillo, Valentine, or Blackwater. Calm down. All right, we should be good. Oh dear. I wonder if we'll get there in time. a little terrifying. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm awake! <laughs> Just making sure you're paying attention. <laughs> I give you what I promise. Oh, for goodness sake, Clayton. <laughs> Just down it. Roll credits. <laughs> Is that above this above the town? Oh, it's fireworks. And look at that! The bottom of the rainbow is not far away. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this this cannot be. We should have really trusted our guts. We really should. Should have just stayed here. He is a leprechaun. Oh, Yo, oh, dick home. What's all the smoke? Did you listen? It's like I'm your face. <laughs> 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 trying to lesson, the bastard. Oh, my you go tomorrow. Good job. Oh my. Yeah. How are you doing, my communist brother? Well, we, we think we did, because we delivered him and he disappeared. Can't hear him. Oh, Harriet and I were on quite the journey, but we were too late. Well, yeah, we, me, and the, me and the lady yeah, there watched it happen. We, watched yeah, we were trying to get photos. We were trying to get photos oh. of him. Uh, that was quite a chase. <laughs> oh, good job, that was pretty good. Is he still here? No, he, uh, he disappeared. Uh, oh. Jack Jones. I think he's been Jack eaten. Jones. And, uh, oh! Oh my god! Dolores Doolittle. What the fuck Dolores. is that thing? God damn. You want big son of a bitch, ain't you? <laughs> rude. Are you jealous? Did you just call she, him that's a bit rude? That's a human no. being. It's, just, it's not. It's an astute observation. He's a big son of a bitch. I was big about 12 hours ago. I'm allowed to say it. You are big about 5 hours ago. It's okay. God damn. Hey, don't you worry about that tin uh, thing. We're just up now. People have been working on, you know, uh, yeah, it's, you know, uh, mechanical being runs on coal. We did. Yeah, uh, a, guy, a friend of mine built it. It, it works just fine, you know. That's pretty cool, actually. Mm, yeah, good. 
That's amazing. Hey, That's yeah, amazing yeah, technology. Grind down the pole and shove it down its uh, top God hole. dang. Light I... it up and then it kind of just walks around and works on the kids or something. It moves, I can tell you that much. We're running through the desert trying to lasso him. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right, yeah. We also, uh, yeah, he had his balloons. You know, his balloons that he was flying around. Yeah, that was a balloon. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. Candles on them. You know, really bright candles. So, uh... <sighs> Yeah, anyway, I uh, appreciate you all for oh, this uh, uh, government project. Uh, that strange man there? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, that's not the robot that's man. The oh, that's a, oh, that's that a big more. That's just a big of a bitch. <laughs> it explains the flan, don't it? Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Oh my goodness. Get <laughs> <laughs> Have I found it yet? Wait, where's Squeeze? No, that's yeah. enough. Hey, Squeeze up next to him. Get, get a oh, they did. Who found him? Oh, um, um, Jack and Dolores. Yeah, Dolores and Jack. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, did you good find luck. Him? Uh, good job. We, we found them kind of hunting uh, sort of that direction. Uh, if you've ever done the, the bounty mission in Armadillo, there's like a little out. I don't know what to call it. A little abandoned stable, sort of, in that general direction. Was that between rocks? Yeah, yeah, between the two rocks. Oh, good. Bitch. Nice well work. Yeah, he's had it's a little bit of water damage. Between rocks, between rocks. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, he seems okay. <laughs> He's just oh, talking to Khan. Well, holy shit! That was a lot of um, right. traveling. Oh, they're, they're running around and crashing into each other because of the bright lights in Caliga Hall was oh, funny. Oh, <laughs> we almost crushed Dolores. Six people. Dolores, where did you go when you were on your horse and we just seen you disappear out of nowhere? I kind of fell down a gully. <laughs> oh, is that where you went? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we were we trying to rob your carriage. Go. No, you you're not Jack. taking our carriage. <laughs> that was damn expensive. I completely did not pay attention to which direction I was riding and then made no. fell, fell down a gully. Yeah, yeah. I've seen you just disappear out of nowhere. I was hoping Phoenix didn't do that. We were trying to steal your cart. Oh, that was great fun. Uh, it yeah, was, was good really fun. good. Yeah. yeah good. Well, there's, a, there's a little, uh, there's something y'all going to get something, but uh, I'll, I'll leave that to uh, later on, okay? So uh, you, you'll find out a bit later. I'll, I'll give you something for just uh, for arriving. I guess. Alright, cheers. Oh, appreciate yeah. it. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. All right, well, well, have a good did you want some milk? <laughs> oh, I like donuts. No, you don't, you don't like milk? Not really, no. Uh, apple juice? Not enough calories. Apple juice, folks. Don't Bye, you big man. Kick me. Bye, big boy. Don't. I wish I had some donuts, actually. Mm. Yeah, same. Amanda, where's Amanda? Where's Donut? I'll second that. I must say it's bold wearing white out here. Yeah. Well, it's not white anymore. <laughs> Here's Amanda. Amanda, I'm do you have Donut? I'm going to move my horse before it kicks. I've got some sweets oh, for him. Oh. I can oh. give you a weight loss pill. Oh, that's not very nice. <laughs> what are you saying? He's fat? No. Oh. Goodness He's perfect, me. just the way he is. I mean, he looks lovely comfortable, size. that's for sure. Trust me, I've tried the weak last pills. Give me sense. Uh, oh, you don't want them to work. Well, that was a um, mission and a half. Hmm. I probably, I think we all probably need new horseshoes now. I already did. Oh my mm. yeah, God, yes. actually. No, I need to do yeah. horseshoe yeah. Cart halfway did through. Was anyone need yeah. some apples? Miss Payne just got I'm them. Curious, I need to give her her money back. So they ended up using it. Uh, uh, yeah. TJ was? There was, yeah. TJ in, in Rhodes, him yeah, and two yeah, people yeah, in the yeah. saloon saw the lights and directed us towards Saint 153. Me. 153. I think that was the only help that we actually got. Well, we did anyway. Yeah, there was yeah. the masked gentleman who was trying to sell information in Rhodes. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I don't think any of us fell for it. I think TJ it. and his boys were the only ones we did see. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think cage. I must have been there too early because they redirected me back to Brig Station and I was like, okay. I almost got run over by a train. 
Oh, oh yeah, my, my bad. I, I never slammed the brakes so the hard. You cheater on the train. <laughs> you it's not train. a cheater, it's a horse. <laughs> yeah, I was on the train, I almost got run over by a train. Yeah, I never yeah. slammed the brakes so hard. Ah, oh, that was so close. Well, please, well, love you please tell yeah. me you got a memory of that. <laughs> um, I don't, even, I, I don't even know if I did. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I can think. <laughs> Oh, that was perfect timing, but... Yep. Phoenix is like, is that a train? I'm like, yes, it's behind us! <laughs> Kept going, I just thought... That's a fast cart, though. Mm. That little buggy, holy crap. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so Sweet. happy. Dolores, we did it! We got there, did it! Uh, we win! Seven more stacks later. Well, I man. know, well, we, we thought about it. Enjoying. Yeah, he Phoenix bought that. Right. Well, yeah. I was going to buy one too because we 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 stole a two horse cart and that thing was flying and then we crashed it. And he's off. <laughs> yeah, Dolores crashed. I did not. You did. See, so, you know, <laughs> when you saw, um on a cart and then it just poofed out of nowhere. Yeah, we saw you on a cart and then it just this would just. Float was that you? Oh, the local cart. Yeah. Yeah, and then you jumped on the horses. Yeah. God damn. Good on you, eh? That's yeah, so cool. well done. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. Well, I was beating so fast when we grabbed the man. <laughs> it's like right. oh, Looking around thinking, oh, no, everyone's going to come get us. <laughs> what did he look like? Was he actually uh, a Tim man? So, uh, um, we, we, we will remember it for you. Okay. Interesting. I think sometimes if you've ever had a bath, when, you might have uh... seen him. Do you want a duel for your winnings? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we've already had some duels and I've lost every single one. Is that right, Mr. Was it you drew one. The second fastest draw in the county, is that right? Uh, I dispute that. I'm going to say the first. No, fastest. actually, I reckon uh, if you want to see a really cool event, this man here will outdraw me. I don't think I've, I've not fought you, sir. I know someone who has. Ooh. Oh Ooh. no, that's right. Wrong Thank man. You. Sorry, not this man. What's up? But the other man who, who gave me the other man wears a blue uh, suit. Man. Yeah, oh, that man yeah, that has oh, beaten me. Whole, what? <laughs> yeah, holy milk. A holy milk. Yeah, I just got one holy he milk. Did. Fuck yeah. Love holy From milk. Like Mr. Hamish or something. Yeah. What's your name? Oh, I don't now think to make the right trip now. back to uh, uh, Far from a queue. Far from a queue. Ah. Oh. That's a major miss, queue. Don't remind me. If only. It was a train that could take us all back. This holy milk? <laughs> Brand new cart. Oh, holy milk. I got a silly. Don't do holy milk. I actually but, uh, really like it. I need to get myself one of those. I don't think so holy milk. You want to go down to the saloon into the road? Oh, yeah. No. yeah, no, I just grabbed some of these. jumps and everything. I went over top of rocks on it. Well, now we all have to travel. Should have taken his cart down. Um, yeah, I got a long Hey, Mr. Lissies, do you want to get your 12 men cart out? Yeah. I got to go up on that hill right up there. Is that the mayor? Your lickies. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to get your right. car out? We can travel. Alright, where's the stable? I'll get the big car. Yeah! yeah. 12 man. Nice. Can I pick up that one? I hit the ride. Oh, yeah, I think I there's more than just right 12 now, people here, though. Yeah, well, there's two there. Oh, well, I thought of some people. Not everyone. <laughs> well, I think I want to make my own. Well, Miss Harriet, right. even though That's we didn't get to sight this crazy mechanical man, oh, it was a pleasure hearing about your endeavors oh, in the guys. country. So thank you, you for your company the, tonight. The oh, it was um, oh, definitely um, a pleasure. Comes. Likewise, yeah, it was up, um, an I mean... interesting change of events, whether we got the uh, end goal or not. It's still <laughs> well, well, adventure. Guys, it's good to get out and about. So have a safe right. travel home and the best of I will, yeah. I think I'm going to go get Clayton some new shoes. Yes, you should. He worked very hard. Hanging off the back. I don't want to go inside. I'm so sorry. Can, can Farewell. Right, allow people to um, allow people to get in first, and then you can hang on. Ladies and gentlemen, you and her, they safe. Well, there's that event. Unfortunately, there was no no luck on our behalf, but we tried. Maybe we should have. Uh, maybe we should have just camped out down here. But that's the thing. Yeah. You try, you know, you, you go with your gut, you try different things, you know, it's always a risk with doing stuff like that, you don't know how it's going to go, but that is alright. It was fun 
all the same, and it was nice to have someone to chat to about it as well. What's your favourite number today, Vanna? Um, 147. 147? 147 would be perfect. One sec. I might find a spot to... This might be a good place as any. Just to dip. Um, I was tempted to maybe do some mining in that, but I don't think I'll do that on stream. Um, I might get an early night, because of course it's Sunday night, so back to work. Back to work tomorrow. Uh, let me see, is there anyone else streaming on the server? I think it's just Hammer, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll send the peeps there to keep it to keep it going. But thanks for those that tuned in. Thanks for the chats. Um... I wanted to fit in doing more Lionheart Valdemar stuff tonight before and after the event, but that unfortunately didn't have the time for that. So I'm going, I'm thinking I might do, Thank you. I might do some of that. If not tomorrow night, maybe like Friday night or something, I might do a, um, you know, a proper, it's been a while since I've done a proper Valdemar stream because it's been two events where, you know, it's been great to bring him into events and interact with everyone. But um, I haven't been out to, you know, do vampire type stuff and, and more, you know, communist party stuff, like main story stuff. So definitely going to do some of that. But Wednesday night will most likely be more George Hughes amnesia arc now that he's back on the mainland. That'll be Wednesday night. Saturday, again, I'll be doing more esports casting. That we'll see. Playing it by ear, seeing how they go with fixing the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection. I'd love to, in theory, I'd love to host weekly nights of that. But if they're not going to fix the game... There's not really much point because the play base is just going to drop off, which is such a shame. They really fumbled that, which really breaks my heart. I've been wanting to play proper online multiplayer Battlefront since I was like 15 or 14, and I'm still waiting. Hello, Witchy. I just I just did an event, and we wrapped up. So I'm probably just going to chill out with some Deep Rock Galactic Survivor and then go to bed soon. But wonderful to see you. Witchy, let me know if you need any more info about the event next month, and I will see you all very soon. Have a wonderful rest of your night.